I'm Becky and today I want to show you how you can fix and clean up your music library with Tidy Songs. Tidy Songs is a very powerful program, so what better way to show you how to use it than to do a step-by-step -step tutorial and use my own music. So today I'm going to be cleaning up and fixing my Radiohead playlist because I love Radiohead, they're an awesome band, but my playlist is such a mess. Just, you know, just by looking at it, I can already see the missing album art, misspellings, and this is my fault because I have downloaded music and then not made sure that everything was correctly spelled and well organized. But that doesn't matter anymore because today I'm going to use study songs and fix everything up. Now, my first project is this song, Airbag. And you can see the artist name has been misspelled. The album information is correct, but it has no associated album art. And that's a shame because Radiohead cover art is beautiful. So I'm going to use study songs to fix and look at that. The band name is now spelled correctly, the genre information has been changed, and the album art has been added. So airbag has been fixed. Now, just by looking at this playlist, I can already spot a few duplicate songs. And again, this is my fault for loving a song too much, I guess. So I know my Radiohead playlist is teeming with song duplicates, but I just, I never get around to actually tracking each of them down and erasing each manually. And now I don't have to do that because Tidy Songs will scan my entire music library based on my criteria and now I can erase all of those duplicate songs automatically. And look at all those duplicates. I didn't even know about Justin Timberlake. When did that happen? But look, Tidy Songs found all my Radiohead duplicates and it'll automatically erase them if I want to. Or I can just simulate the process, in which case the duplicates will be marked as such in iTunes, but none will be erased. Now onto album art. As I previously said, Radiohead's album art is just fantastic. And it would be such a shame not to have it, you know, in my music library or on my iPod. So now I'm gonna use Tidy Song's special album art feature, which finds all missing cover art. And just look at that. Look how it's transforming my boring music library into something that's so great to look at. Hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial. Feel free to email me with any questions.